than 24 hours have passed since that 4.9 magnitude earthquake shook Kern County. And 23 ABC's Ken Masenchi, he joins us now. He talked to an earthquake expert to examine if this quake, Ken, was part of something bigger. Yeah, Tim, yesterday's earthquake may not have been flying off the Richter scale, but according to a staff seismologist at Caltech, the depth of the quake was surprising. Much of Kern County felt the effects, and our 23 ABC Sky Cam even caught the vibration of the 4.8 magnitude earthquake. Even though it caused little to no damage, the depth of the earthquake caught the attention of Dr. Jen Andrews, a staff seismologist at Caltech's seismological lab. This event was particularly deep. It was down around 22 kilometers. It was Statistically, for our earthquakes, it's quite deep. 22 kilometers is about 13 and a half miles. Andrews says California usually sees earthquakes down in the nine mile range. The quake was caught on cameras throughout Kern County. You can see the waves in this turtle's aquarium at this Bakersfield home. And as 23 ABC brought you earlier in the month, a recent USC study indicates a connection between oil fracking and earthquakes. The study references the Tahone oil field area of southern Kern County in 2005. Andrew says that while Caltech doesn't particularly follow oil field operations, fracking probably isn't to blame for Tuesday's quake. These earthquakes were way deeper than any operations would be occurring. Instead, plate tectonics are to blame. Andrew says that it was a strike slip fault occurring between the Pacific and North American plates. One side of the fault moves sideways relative to the other. This was a right lateral motion, which means if you stood on one side of the, the fault and you looked at the other side, you would see it moving to the right. This right lateral strike slip is the same motion that the San Andreas fault experiences. But does this mean the big earthquake we always hear about is on the horizon? At this point, there's no reason to believe it's anything other than the normal earthquakes that we have here in Southern California because of that plate boundary. Another visual representation of a strike slip fault. If a right lateral motion were to occur right now and you were standing at the edge of the Pacific plate, this is what you would be seeing. Live in studio, Ken Masenchi, 23 ABC.